Welcome to this more for apps video. Today we're looking at setting up profile options to restrict integrator access. To start with, click on your user profile icon and choose setup and maintenance. We need to use the list on the right hand side to do a search. So we choose the search option. And up in the search box here, we just put the word profile in. And we select application profile option and then down to manage profile options. We're going to be creating a new profile option so the action we choose is new and now we enter in a profile option code. You have to get the exact spelling and case with this. All the names start with M4A underscore exclude and in this case it's purchase orders integrator. The naming will be listed in the setup documentation. You choose the application in our case it's purchasing and the module procurement. Optionally you can enter a description. I tend to put one in so the sysadmin people know what profile's for and of course you need a start date. Once we've done this we've created our profile option. We save our profile option then we go in and we update the site and user enabled and updatable values. This allows us to set values for both the user and the site. We then want to go over and we want to manage our profile options category. Okay, so we just put that in the search. Selecting manage profile option categories, we then go in and we search for the category code, the ORA FND auth rest access. And we need to apply our profile option. Choose new, we put in the profile option name via the search at the bottom here. So we scroll down to the search. I always search by the profile option display name. You can use the code. And we can see our profile option there. And now we can enter the display sequence, leave it at zero, and we simply save and close. Now we want to administer our profile option. So we search on the manage profile option values. Again, pick this from the list here put in our profile option code to search on and we select it then we scroll down and we add a new action so this is a new profile option value I recommend setting your site profile option first so that's what we'll do here we set site as the profile option level and a value by setting this value to Y, we're restricting this integrator so no one in the organization can use it unless it's set at the user level. Now let's set up the user level profile option to give a user access to this integrator. You'll notice the additional field pop up for the username. Unfortunately, by design, you can only do this one person at a time. And we're choosing Lisa Jones. And we're putting no one here. We've set this up now so Lisa has access to this integrator but no one else in the organization has. Of course if you want it the other way around where everyone's allowed access except Lisa you'd swap these values around so the site access is no and the person access is yes exclude this person. If this profile option doesn't exist or it has no values set, it's going to assume full access to everyone that's got the right privilege to call the web service for that integrator. Thanks for watching this video.